Today we're going to do number seven on the general curriculum math subtest. It goes something like this. Use the table below to answer the questions that the question that follows. And then it gives us this nice diagram. I want you to study this for a moment. Look at the core details here. It has uh, two columns, store and discount from manufacturer's recommended price. And then it lists all these uh, deals. I want you to notice percents, fractions, and uh, this is a clue here that this is a fraction, decimal, and percent problem. At least at first glance, when I see a problem and I see right away that the diagram has fractions and percents, you know, I should, in my mind, and in your mind too, I want you to start thinking, hey, this is a fraction, decimal, percent problem. Okay, the second part is actually the question itself. Samantha wants to buy two computer games, each which has a manufacturer's recommended price of $20. She checks four different stores and finds the prices of each game discounted as shown in the table above. At which store will Samantha be able to buy the game for the least amount of money? And then it asks us which store. So we already did that first um, quick glance using the right side of my brain picking up the big details. And this was, you know, I saw percents and fractions. Okay, so right away I'm thinking, hey, this is a fraction decimal and percent problem. When I think about fractions and decimals percents, um, I always want to think about it in terms of part to whole. This is a very important concept when dealing with fractions, decimals, and percents. So what is my part and what is my whole? If we think about this in terms of savings, this first store here, the whole would be what you would be paying, you know, what Samantha would be paying if she didn't have a deal. If there was no deal, She'd be paying twenty dollars per, uh, you know, per video game. So at the end, so she'd be paying about four. She'd be paying forty dollars. But Samantha's smart. Samantha says, "Hey, if I go to store number one, I get four dollars off. So that's four dollars on this one plus four dollars on this one. Oops. So I'm really only going to be paying eight out of forty. Now let's uh, eight out of forty. If we're thinking about it in terms of savings." This is a fraction, I can I simplify this fraction into lowest terms. If I divide the top by 8 and the bottom by 8, I get 1 fifth. 1 fifth is one of my core fractions. 1 fifth, I know because I memorized my core fractions, is equal to 20%. So this first store, she's really saving 20%. Uh, 20 Not bad. But guess what? This second store, she's saving 30%. How could Samantha go wrong with 30%? Well, the third store, if we're thinking about it in terms of savings, she's getting one-third off. This is another core fraction, one-third. It's equal to 33%. you got to memorize these facts. you got to know these decimals, you know, they're fractions, decimals, and percents. So 1 over 5 is 20%, or 0.2, one-third is 33%, or 0 0.33. So guess what? Store 3 is a really good deal. It's 33% off. And then this last one, buy one game and get the second one half off, well, what's my part total relationship? My whole would be $40. My part, she has to buy one game, and she gets the second one half off, so that means it's only going to cost her 10 So if I'm thinking about in terms of savings, she's safe. So she's actually saving $10, right? What's your core fraction? Her core fraction is 4 over 1, and guess what? 4 over 1 is also one of our core fractions. It equals 0.25 or 25%. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was buying a pair of video games or an iPhone or, I don't know, a pair of shoes, a jacket, who knows, whatever, whatever you like, I would go with a choice that got me 33% off, and that helps us get to the answer. Hey, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Check out one of the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops coming up or sign up for some one-to-one -one MTEL math tutoring. Keep on sending in your questions. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.